hello everybody. This is Bench85. There's a building on our map. What is this treachery? Oh, I guess there was a there was a shop of some sorts. It wasn't a John Deere one though. Um yeah. This is not no man's land, right? So I've been thinking about this for a little while here. Um as much fun as no man's land was. It is a lot of work and I don't have a lot of time right now and I kind of wanted to get into uh, some other stuff dealing with like production chains and different mods and kind of ultra realism a little bit like I used to do and honestly like there's a possibility there might be a new farming simulator coming out at some point here in the near future like if you keep with their their setup oh yeah look at that John Deere 45 nitrogen fertilizer and there's lots of John Deere boxes, parts here. I almost felt like I could... Oh. It's invisible glass. Why did I walk through the door then? Um. Can I get back here? Can't get in the shop. So, I just wanna... I wanna play around with that stuff, so... This is actually the second time... I, I actually made this first episode on a different map. And I realized that that map was just going to be as crazy as this one was as far as um, time. Or not this one. No Man's Land. Because it was going to be very time consuming. Um, I was finding that out the hard way. So, I guess we're going to see this. This is a little bit different style of a map. Um, it's a... Let me show you the map, actually. There is a lot of fields, a lot of interesting parts to it. Um, this is very much. Th this is this is a. It's it's actually Westby, Wisconsin. So this is Wisconsin right here. In some of the hilly country, like this is a hundred percent in some of the areas that I'm in. This is exactly how the map would be with all these spots and all this kind of craziness and stuff. And then a lot of the big farms come in and they try to make giant fields out of it. So we might utilize that. Do we not? Doesn't let me tab. Or did I add something that I'm not allowed to switch between? I may have made added the mod that makes it so I can't switch between stuff. That's entirely possible. No, these are these are cell points. Do I not have any equipment? I don't have any equipment, and I also only have a hundred thousand dollars. Well, that's going to be an issue. Do I do I own anything? Do I have any land that's my own? No. Um. Well, sounds like I might be. Uh... <laughs> we may have to do some map editing. See, this is this is how little I've actually looked at this stuff. Well, let's just walk down here anyways. So I want to see stuff here. Oh. So you do got these big grass strips, which you could definitely... Uh, definitely f cut and make into to hay and stuff like that. Obviously our lines along here are a little rough and stuff, and that's that's okay. There's a farm down here that I want to go check out. Can I still do the camera? I can. Third person camera works. Alright, so we got a little farm here, but we don't have any actual buildings yet. I don't know if these things... I don't think they actually work. I think they're just there. I don't, f I, I don't think I did the wrong setting when I started the map. <laughs> I did the one where you're supposed to have equipment. I thought. I don't know. It shows a big farm over here, but I'm guessing there isn't a big farm over here, right? Oh, there is some buildings. It just goes to show how, how green I am to this 
map, right? So this would honestly be a good a good farm to work with, right? The question is do these count as actual buildings? They look like they've got watering troughs here. This is a big barn. This would be uh, this might be tough to work with. Oh, actually, I won't be able to interact with anything because I don't own this property, right? This is, this is another part of this farm here, it looks like. What's this? This is an animal dialogue. You do not any yeah, you gotta You gotta buy the stuff here. This is the dairy facility it looks like. Well then, if we were to go here. Oh, so we technically own Is that what that's saying? We own these bits already? Where are we right now? We're down here, aren't we? So this guy is 1.3 million dollars. Like, you need some pretty pretty decent chunks of money with the way this system works. Yeah, we're going to have to do some editing. It looks like, I mean, it costs a lot of money. 368000 there. 454. See that one's viable. It's only 85,000 for that one. See this this is the area we were walking down. That's 600,000. Bang. I don't know, but this this seems like a very interesting map. So I think we're going to have to do a little bit of editing. Um I'm going to have to invest in some money apparently. <laughs> and actually like pick a farm and uh, get some equipment because uh, yeah we need to have like a starter area right oh this has got one of the Laylee yeah the astronauts the automaker or milkers there's a bunch of them in here holy cow Oh, it is a big barn. Well, just for the heck of it. Because this does have a, an, uh, let's see here, animals, cows. This has a, a pack in here. So you got this. Dog, bee stuff, chicken, sheep. Cow barn with feeding robot. That's a pretty good sized building there. Yeah, I don't know if these buildings actually count. I'm hoping they do. So I would probably end up getting that farm. We've got some bunkers to work with. So these bunkers, see, they're actual buildings you can click on, where these are not. Why can I not figure out where I am here? Ah, there it is. So yeah, none of these things actually count as buildings, huh? 
Oh, well that's a stave silo. Is that actually in here? Ah, so it does ferment feed into silage. So it counts as a um a silo. Purely decorational. I should have thought I had a different silo pack in here. Maybe I don't. Maybe I'm not sure. This is all maze plus stuff. Huh. Interesting. Alright, let me, uh... <laughs> I, I feel so, like, unprepared for this, because I wasn't expecting the map to be like this. And I probably should have dove into it, but I wanted first expre er, first impressions and expressions apparently. So you guys got to see that. So let me do some magic, and I will be right back. You know, I didn't realize how um, how run down this equipment is. This one doesn't even have front tires. That one's got some interesting looking duels or whatever. These are like buried in the ground. Like I don't know if I'd want to be buying stuff from this equipment dealer. But anyways, I reloaded back in the game, so I'm way over here again. But, if you didn't notice, we have a bit more money. So I want to purchase this farm right here. So, that's ours. And of course, we don't have a way of getting over there, right? Or wait, let me check something. Oh, I can't, I can't visit there, can I? I can visit there, but I can't visit here. Well, that makes me sad. Here I was wanting to, to visit. So I gave myself a good chunk of money because of how I want to play this version. I need to get something over there so I can teleport myself there. It's going to be a long walk. But anyways, to give you an idea of what what's going to be entailed for this version of what we're playing, right? Besides like the rolling hills and it's kind of a scenic map. I like this place. I haven't explored it much, so we're going to have to explore it. Uh, this is a four times map, so it should be a bigger map on top of things. Uh, four times bigger than the normal Westby map that was originally built. That's interesting. That's got tire tracks through it or whatever. Surprising that we can't... Like, is this is this home now? We can't actually go inside, so it does it not count? Does that mean these buildings don't count? So if they're just giant empty buildings, I'm gonna be sad. And if that's the case, there might be something that I have not working correctly. Because, yeah, I can't interact with any of these buildings. I wonder if I don't have anything, something set up incorrectly. Because these should all be usable. They should be able to get cows and stuff. Right? Because I don't... Yeah, I have no pens yet. Um... Let me double check on this stuff. Maybe things are not working correctly. I might have not downloaded something correctly. So, let me check on stuff. There we go. I think we got everything situated now. Oh look, there's a shed here now. And there's a shed there. 
And there's another building there that wasn't there, and that one wasn't there. So it turns out when you download this map, you have to download the map, and you have to download the um, the buildings pack. And if you don't unzip the buildings pack properly, none of your buildings are going to work. But it's all fixed now. I can uh, literally put animals into all of these uh, buildings here. And I was counting. I've got six pens here. These four will hold 100 each, and these two will hold 80 each. So if you do the math, 560 cows we can work with. That's pretty good, actually. Full level whole crop. Yeah, because we got maze plus, so there's going to be crazy things going on. All right, so we have this portion situated. Um, look here, these are the fields that we have. Um, my thoughts were this farm across the way with the silos. I would like to be able to get that farm right there, plus it includes the fields up in here. Um, gives us a pretty good jump on things, so we're going to buy that. And I was trying to decide, do we get this one, which has logging? Do we get this set of field here? Like, this is one big field. Might be beneficial to have that one. Yeah, we're going to do those. Those right there. Fortunately, it doesn't show as nicely what, what we have. I mean, you can see we've got plenty of things going on here. Um, oh, we just got... Oh, that's all the store stuff. Ah, here, now it properly shows that we've got all of our buildings here. Free stall designs. We've also got... Oh, we've got another barn up here. Along with the silos. And then we've also got a couple of grain bins. Mm -hmm. So, we're actually real set up. What do we have over here, too? Oh, we've got a set of green bins here. Do we? Talking those like way over here. Definitely got some land here that we can work with. The hills are going to make it interesting, that's for sure. There's a lot of land that we can uh, we can actually dig up, work up. Yeah, you know, turn it into farmland. Oh yeah, there's some grain bins over here. Crop rotation, perfect. See? Precision farming. So this is actually a giant field of grass that's growing. We're going to need hay. We're going to need quite a bit of it. We're also going to need a lot of corn, um, and we'll explain that, or I'll explain that as we go here. So apparently I own this as well. This is my building as well. Is it? Look at that. And these are our three grain bins over here. Very nice. I didn't know I owned this far over. Yep. Well, that's pretty cool. So we've actually got a lot of land to work with. So we can push for, for cows pretty quick, I think. Um, hopefully. I don't know. That's why I gave ourselves so much money, because we need to set things up properly, right? We need to be able to have the, the planters and stuff, the cultivators... And then the tractors that we need, as well as the combine and the forage harvester and all those kind of things. You know, things you don't necessarily think about all the time. And we need the hay equipment as well. But this playthrough is going to be very heavy on taking care of cows. Like, it's going to be dairy, 100%. But we got to deal with the precision farming. And we've got to deal with maize plus and the animal extension for maize plus, which is going to make feeding cattle very interesting 
This this map is nice. I may have to drive around with it. What I'm going to do though, so that I don't have to go crazy here looking for stuff. We should be able to set our point right there, right? Oh, not I. P. Well, one of the first things we're going to need um, is not one of those. <laughs> Where's the right? There it is. Cars. Oh, yeah. We can get our big Cummins that we had last time, too, can't we? Missing function telehandler. Ooh. I'm not sure the difference. Let's not use the A's in. <laughs> Make it look really ridiculous. The old Steelies. Yeah, let's run the Steelies. Um... So I don't really want the chrome. Main color, we're obviously going to have to go with a black metal flake. Oh, yeah. Like a Massey Ferguson red, probably. Don't like that. Don't like that. I don't like that. We're going to do black metal flake and we're just going to do everything like that. There we go. Put some mud flaps on. We don't need the rear the large ones. And we're going to run no license. Oh, we could do license plate. No, we're going to run no no license plate. Nice blacked out truck. I like it. Except it's not going to be at the shop. Uh, we're probably going to have to have one of these XUVs around somewhere. That one goes 60 miles an hour. But we're going to probably have to utilize this for working on stuff around, uh, you can put a, th oh wow, I didn't know you could put a three point hitch on there. Anyways, we're probably going to need something like that at some point, but we're not going to worry about it right now. Um, we should probably get a harvester right out of the gate. And we're... We're going to run this guy. Yeah. We're going to run a 7150 right away. Um, I didn't look to see here. Is there anything good on sale? Ooh, there's a man truck. And a big... Ooh, there's a big vent. And this one is a 6 meter wide... One of those. Oh. Now I gotta look. Mulchers. That is the big one. That you can get. Well. Let's buy it. It's on sale. We're going to need one anyways, right? Now this right here... Yeah, no. Nope, no, we're not getting that. This guy, though... Oh, it's a yellow fence. Can we change the engine setup? It's a 430 horse...
What is this? Real nitrogen demand of your crops while driving with the sensor over your field, you get more precise information. Can only be used in the daytime. Interesting. Well, we're not going to get that. And we got a forage harvester. So we're not going to deal with those sale items, right? Should probably go through and get... Wait, no, that's the 92 series. I don't want the 92 series. I want the 71 series. Yeah, this one. With the twin wheels, right? Yeah, we want the twin wheels. And then we're going to need the headers for it. So this is most likely... Yep, so 7150, and there's the header cart, which we're... I don't know if we're going to worry about that right now. one foot and then there's a 45 foot I forgot how many different options there were oh that one goes on there too that's a 28 foot what did I buy oh I bought a 25 foot well we should probably buy the 28 foot and then sell the 25 foot right because, you know, it's a little bigger. <laughs> Alright, so we've got a 6 meter uh, 4408, so it's an 8 row. And then we've got that one, and then this guy is the big... It's a 4418, so that's an 18 row. I'm guessing, yeah, that one's built for that one. So we're going to have to run this guy right here. Which is unfortunate. But it is what it is. Uh, so we are going to want to buy, uh, sell this one. We're going to lose a little money for it. But that's okay. So we've got the combine figured out. Um, we're probably just going to run... So for seed reasons, actually. I'm going to get this right now. Um, because we are going to need this. And I'll explain why in the next episode while we're doing stuff. Oh, that's right. We got those giant ones, don't we? <laughs> I remember those. Uh, which means we are going to need a truck of some sort to haul that. I don't really want the man trucks. So, superliner... That's an older Mac. So we got day cab, or we could put... That makes for a big sleeper. I like the shorter truck. We don't need to be doing anything crazy, right? I do want the bigger horsepower there. Oh, I'll put side mirrors. Yeah, I like it cleaner like that. We're going to have a black truck. And we're going to black out the rooms. Yeah, look at that. Can I just do none? No, I can't. Alright, so we got that. Um, we should probably not get tractors yet. Because what we're going to want to aim for is some sort of... We're probably going to... Should we just run big planter right away? So we got 12 meter. This is an 18 meter. But we're going to need... Yeah, 350 horse. We can swing that.
So yeah, we're just going to run a big planter right away. Uh, Cedar-wise, I don't know if we want to go up to... So we want the direct-to-seed type here. But those also don't fertilize, where this one fertilizes for us too. But it's only a 6 meter. But this one doesn't dig for you. Oh, it's such a trade-off, isn't it? This one's faster. This one's actually quite fast. But it doesn't fertilize. Um, with precision farming, I think we'll do better off anyways, so... I think we're just going to run this guy. Not a big deal, right? So we've got planters. We're supposed to have a roller. So this is also a 350 horse type deal. I think we've used that big roller in the past. We got a lot of equipment to put away, don't we? Um, we're going to need some sort of a cultivator. takes 375 so I think we're gonna aim for like a 400 horse tractor there's one for sale that fent <laughs> we probably should just buy that yeah we should probably just get this one it's at 380 right now we can push it to 431 we can We'll run these tracks on it. I'm going to run this, though, on it. I think that's a good upgrade. So where are the additional items going now that... Um, are they going inside the shed? Because if they are, that's hilarious. Oh, they're not. Um... I don't know where they are. Oh, it's starting to go here. It's at the shop. Because it can't fit anymore here. That's fine. I'm okay with that. Uh, we're probably going to need a smaller tractor of some sort. I mean, you start talking about some of these, the 72 series, right? If we go up to a... Uh, 72.50 Pro, we're talking 260 horse. Or we just go with like a large one. I love these 8RX series. I love how these things look. Remember we've played with them before? It's also got a huge price tag. We can push it to 458 horse if we want to. For 400,000. So we'd have two, two big tractors then. I actually don't mind having that three point on the front. We should probably run that on the big tractor too. Yeah, let's buy that one. 
Oh boy. We're running out of money already. That's okay, we can start doing contracts. Um, when we get into the, the animal stuff, we're going to need a smaller tractor anyways. But I'm not going to worry about that right now. I'm not going to worry about a forage harvester yet either. So that'll at least get us going, right? Um, we're going to need a spreader of some sort. For fertilizer. So I'll probably run the extension. We'll run the wide disc setup. And do it that way. I think we're going to call it good right there. But what I do want to do. Okay, so this shed is not put in a very great place apparently. Like you're not supposed to drive around it. There's no driveway over there. I forgot to remember that. Oh, I cannot steer apparently. Somebody hit the mailbox. That wasn't me. Alright, so our other stuff is up there at the the, sh the, the shop. That's what it is. I just want to drive around a little bit. So we do have the sheds and stuff down here. Oh, I love that it says select sires there. So these are all our fields, actually. We've got a lot of land to work with. That's that's really good. Uh, looks like we've got some sort of a feed mill, up, or not feed mill, grain mill up here. Nice big driveway, of course. That there's a big oh, got a big dryer there. Premier Co-op. Look at that. Very nice. Some big bins. What are the red things out here? I'm gonna start driving through the countryside. I don't care. Oh, there's a tree there. Who put the tree there? Probably the map maker. Oh, you know what these are? These are, um, these are pens. Uh, these are big beef pastures is what they are. So you can raise beef cattle out there. Um, let's see here. We're definitely just like crossing through because why not? There's a road up here. So there's another farm of some sort up here. Alright, so we're on that road. Is there? There's no actual road to like cross through, is there? You're either on this side or you're that side, unless it's right here. Let's go find out. I do like the fact that this is the road with the traffic on, and our side over there, over there, does not have. There it is. See, I knew you could see the farm at some point. Uh, we don't have a sleeping point. We're going to have to figure out a sleeping point at some point. Um. My guess would be probably I might have to put like the boots mod that we had or something along those lines in FS19 where we could have our spawn point wherever we decide to put it. Oh, yep, there is a there is a crossroad right here. Obviously I can't drive because I'm looking at everything else that's around. Hey look, there's a bunch of equipment here. Uh, you're not supposed to go into the shop that way. Good to know, because I was going to. <laughs> Did I actually have street names? Yeah, cut across road with old line road. 
not cut across the road. I like that. So Cherokee feeds where you can get a lot of stuff. A lot of items. There's definitely a lot of equipment over here. McFarland equipment sales. Yeah, so I know this episode is going quite long. I know we're just kind of playing around with stuff. But we'll get more uh, more into things here once we get going on the on the actual season here. And like I said, we're gonna go after cattle pretty quick. I don't know if we're gonna do it in the first year here. We're probably gonna have to put some silage and stuff away. We're gonna put some bales away, and like next spring, we're probably gonna get into it because I hate to like try to do it and then realize we run out of feed over the winter time and then we really get screwed over like it wouldn't be good luckily this thing pulls really good uh, so with that guys uh, I hope you're excited I'm, I'm excited about this map I'm excited that like our farm is all set up already um, we can probably get close to what was it 560 cattle. Um, there's a lot of new and fun mods for us to play with that should uh, make things interesting and some of it I have no idea how it's going to work out. Like feeding cattle is going to be quite the uh, adventure I think. With that guys, thank you all for watching and until next time, as always, take it easy. There's no way I'm going to be able to get that in the garage, right? We're just gonna we're just gonna park it here. This is a good spot for it.